So in part one of this video, we had our ocean shader in RenderMan 20 in Maya 2016 hooked up with our displacement shader. So we've got two parts. We've got our displacement and our surface. And we took, it took a look at some just quick renders out of the box. Uh, didn't modify any settings, so we kind of got some nice background detail, but this foreground could have used some uh, tweaking. And looking at some other renders, this one is deliberately fantastical, just to show the craziness we can do with our ocean displacements. This is all displacements on just a flat plane or sphere. And here's another kind of, um, uh, it's still a little bit, a little bit crazy, but you can see how you can have the bigger waves and the higher frequency, what we call choppy ocean uh, aspect of our ocean shader. And just to look at some quick animations with different, all I'm doing is swapping out the HDR mask here and just doing some cool animations on the waves. And uh, I mentioned you can animate that by just animating this frame parameter. Just put an expression there on the current frame, your Maya frame, and, uh, and then let your animation play and you get cool wave animations for your low frequency waves. And then you can also animate the high frequency waves too. Uh, with some of the different parameters. Uh, but these are all rendered in RenderMan raise mode. So what if we wanted to switch to RIS? So the shader does support, support RIS because uh, the bulk of it is displacement. So how do we do that? Well, if we go into RenderMan and go into render RIS, again, this is confusing. You've got kind of two renders under the hood here and it'll be slowly moving to RIS. Um, in the future so it'll just be a lot simpler having one render instead of two and having different material assignments because there's differences between the two that are just not obvious and uh, yeah it'll be a lot simpler going forward with just one render in RIS mode so I switched it to RIS so if I if I do a render uh, we're not gonna get anything because even though it's not obvious this is a raise shader and it's an SLO and it doesn't work in RIS even though this is a raise RSL shader it's still on slow but that does work in RIS because RIS supports displacements yes it's confusing that's why we're doing this video so let's drop down an RIS surface shader which means it's a BXDF so we're gonna do for example I can bring it in here I'm gonna do PXR Disney just because it's a nice generic shader so I could just uh, click on that and it'll drop it in the hypershade window but I kind of like using the node editor so I'll just bring this up a little more, zoom it in, and I'm just going to type tab and do PXR Disney. So I'll drop that in. So what we're going to do here is because we switched to RIS, this is no longer valid, as I mentioned before. Um, so we're just going to disconnect this, and we're going to just remove our surface shader. But we're going to keep the displacement shader, and we're going to keep the shading group. Now, you'll notice PXR Disney when you dropped it in, it brought its own shading group, but we don't need that because we're going to reconnect it to our existing shading group. Why? Because we already have our displacement shader plugged into there. Um, we still want to keep this, and the actually shading en engine stays the same even though we're swapping out a raised shader with an RIS BXDF. So we're just going to go out color. I'm going to grab this, and we're going to put it into the surface shader slot. So we can either, if we can't plug it in there, we can just go in here and then our options are displacement shader. So we can also click on other and just go down here and click on surface shader. So you'll notice it gets connected to the surface shader. And then when you go in here, we've got PXR Disney for a surface material and our ocean displacement. So I'm not going to touch the displacement. I'm going to leave it as is. Uh, and that should work. We've, we've got our RIS surface shader plugged in we're in RIS mode let's double check that render man render RIS okay well let's see what happens if we hit a render so we can see that we're getting displacement and it's a little bit uh, low, you know, low quality here because we're just kind of iterating through. But if I take a look at the final result, I just kind of waited a little bit longer with the re-render. That's kind of what it looks like. So here it's just iterating through, but that's just, again, that's out of the box. Like this is not necessarily how your surface 
you might want your surface to be. I just did a like just a out of the box like a factory PXR Disney. It actually looks okay because it's blue. But you can see our displacement works. We're in RIS mode because it's using PXR Disney, and it's just going to iterate over that and we can change all the different settings. So that's all you have to do if you want to use our ocean shader in RIS mode, which is the newer renderer in RenderMan. All you're doing is swapping out. You're, you're taking away our ocean plausible ocean surface raised shader. You're putting in a PXR Disney. And if you're familiar with our, our, with our presets, if we click on presets, this will probably go off screen a little bit. But as I go in here, we have our RIS 100 presets also on our website, lollipopshaders.com. And you got a lot, you got a hundred physically based materials here. Um, so you can certainly play with those if you have that package for PXR Disney. But the important thing is just showing how we just hook up a different BXDF and we plug it in and voila, out of the box, our, uh, our, uh, our ocean shading system works in RIS mode. So give that a whirl, try, uh, try different BXDFs. You can even use, you don't have to use PXR Disney. You can use the LM series, uh, anything under the RIS mode for BXDFs plug it in the same way. Let us know if you have any questions. Don't forget to animate your scenes. That still works the same way. And if you have any recommendations, shoot us an email at info at lollipop.shaders.com if you have any features that you would love in this ocean shading suite for RenderMan RIS.